Now there are certain other identities of the user equipment or the subscriber which are precisely related to the radio networks. So here we have RNTI which stands for Radio Network Temporary Identifier. So there are different identifier which are actually defined on the basis of in which particular scenario a UE is. So if the UE is an RRC connection or RRC connected mode and is a uh, scheduling between the network and the UE happening, then in that case, the UE is holding this particular identity, which is CRNTI. Now, similar to that, if we, the if the UE is having a semi-persistent scheduling, which is not continuous happening in the downlink and uh, configured or granting the resources in the uplink, in that case, it is in the CSRNTI uh, scenario in that case. This is the identity UE is holding at that point in time. During the paging and uh, the exchanging of SIB information between the UE and the network, in that case, UE would be having the PRNTI. The identity which is used primarily to identify the broadcast and system information in downlink, in that case, it will be SIRNTI. So if you want to identify uh, the user in which particular state it is, through these identities, it is easy to identify them. Now, if we look into uh, the slot format control or the power control, in that case, it will be used as a TPC PUCCH, which is an uplink RNTI. This is another identity which is given to the UE. During the random access, there is a different uh, identity which stands or starts with the RA. Now, for uh, identification of the UE, which is temporarily given to it during a random access procedure, that will be taken care by temporary CRNTI. And during RRC inactive mode, where we know that it is right now in the middle of the idle and the connected mode, so it is in an inactive mode where the connection is built up between the core network and the user, but the data is not transmitting. In that case, this particular UE is identified by IRNTI. So these are the different uh, identities when we do some kind of troubleshooting to analyze the user in which uh, particular state it is. Uh, at this point in time, we'll, these different identities are quite useful to do the troubleshooting.